Okay, Konar, please don't give me a shit task. Oh, I see. Okay, so we've just attained full tier 5 Shazian, but we've got a problem. If you do the Core End Hard Diaries, you can make it so that your Shazian Helm 5, excuse me, you can make it so your Slayer Helm counts as a Shazian Helm 5. And I would gladly go do the, uh, the Core End Hard Diaries. The problem is, I have not completed Architectural Alliance. Uh, all I am missing is 70% of my Lovakenge favor. So, I'm gonna make Dynamite, because it's the least AIDS way to do it. Uh, it does unfortunately require me to wait overnight, but I'm gonna go do the stuff required, like prep work. And then tomorrow, when it's all done, we can, uh, finish our Lovakenge favor. Okay, so I filled the, uh, the charcoal furnaces a couple of days ago, so they should be good and done. Yeah, 3,000 Juniper Charcoal. As far as I'm aware, I only need like 400, so that should be more than enough. Okay, so we got uh, Dynamite Pots and Balls of Wool. Now, every time you combine one of these, it gives you 0.1 Lovakenge favor. So, this should be uh, nice and quick now. Well, I finished making all of my Dynamite, and unfortunately, I'm just shy of 100%. But, I guess there's a really easy thing called the Minecart Network... That'll give you up to 25%. I'm gonna go see what that's about. Okay, I think when we uh, deliver... No, do not travel. I think when we deliver this last minecart scroll, we should now be 100% in all of our favors. Thank God. Okay, there we go. We rounded up all the architects from the different houses. We talked to Hosa. And with that, we have finally completed Architectural Alliance... Something I should have done a really, really long time ago. Okay, now that Architectural Alliance is done, and I'm going to double check and make sure that it's done, I should be able to do the Core End Hard Diaries. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, I believe once we hand in this stolen pendant, that should be the last step of the Korend and Kebos Hard Diaries. There we go. And there you have it. There is the Korend and Kebos Hard Diaries done. I will go grab my reward really quick. Right, so we can claim our Rata's Blessing 3, which is pretty cool and all. However, the big thing that I wanted from this achievement diary was the fact that now I can use my Slayer Helm and it will count as a Shazian Helm when I kill Lizardmen. Uh, can I use my Slayer Helm instead of a Shazian Helm? Yes, that is possible. However, I only show the required technique to those who have proved themselves a friend of Gored. What do you mean the required technique? You just put the goddamn helmet on your head, bro. Yeah, the first of many quote-unquote Warhammers. Uh, whoever thought it would be funny to add that to their drop table? Oh, well, they were kind of right. It, it's kind of funny. Oh, yeah! You know, actually, you know what, never mind. Longbones are only like 1 out of 400, so... I shouldn't really complain, but... The first of many, I, 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 I honestly. I think anybody that's done the Dragon Moore Hammer grind will tell you. You see so many, like, long and curved bones here, I swear. They have to be more common. When playing Old School RuneScape, there is a list of things you hate to see. And the Mystic Hat Light is definitely on the list. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, like I said, it's not actually as rare as a jaw, but it is on the drop table, so... That's unfortunate, and you know what? I'm gonna get comments about it, so I'm gonna address it. Uh, yes, I am ranging in Proselyte, okay? I lose 0.5 DPS by wearing full Proselyte, and I save... Hella prey pots, it's totally worth it, don't at me. What? 
That's back to back. Oh my god, I wish I I wish I would have left the recorder running. Oh my fuck it. Like, like compare the supplies. I oh I yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Well, that'll be it. This will be the end of the Basilisk task once again. So, unless by some miracle I get a jaw on this kill, that'll be another completed task without our jaw. Yep, but we got two Mystic Hats, and we do have a hard clue scroll to do, so I can go do that, actually. Okay, immediately following the Basilisks, we get more Lizard Men. Duradel really wants me to try to grind out these rare items, whether it be a hammer or a jaw, apparently. Hey, there's a level. We just got level 89 hit points. Hit points is one of those skills that you never notice you're leveling up. They just kind of happen. Uh, one more level until the big 90. And there is another level. There is level 82 Slayer. Uh, we don't unlock anything at 82, but hey, the levels are rolling in. Ah, yes. Visited by our old friend, the Longbone. All right, there we go. There is our second Lizardman Shaman task completed. No Dragon Warhammer, but, uh, I mean, the drop rate is 1 out of 5k, so certainly can't expect it anytime soon. Somebody asked Magic 8-Ball if I'm gonna get a shit task, and Magic 8-Ball said yes. Fuck you, 8-Ball! You don't know nothing! Well, there's our first Necreal task completed. That took me forever. I used Bracelets of Slaughter the entire time, so I ended up killing a total of 232. But look at that loot! 1.6 mil! I'm legit so excited to elk all this stuff. That's gonna be huge! Holy shit! 1.17 million GP from one task. That is sick! So between the price of making the planks and my butler's fees, it's gonna come out to 8.3 mil. So, we got uh, a couple mil left to go, not bad. Hmm, 153 Dagonoths. You know, I haven't done Dagonoth Kings in a long time. Let's let's do a trip, why not? You know, now that I think about it, I've got uh, I've got the Berserker Ring, and that is all. So, even if I get like a drag- uh, Speaking of axes. Even if I get like a Dragon Axe, that would be uh, a really good drop for me right now, so. Spined Chaps. You know what? I'm like 90% sure you need that for an Elite Clue. Or a Master. I'm, I'm almost positive I need those. So that's actually good. I literally just said I wouldn't mind getting a Dragon Axe. Like, like, 10 seconds ago. Okay, there we go. There is the first Dragon Axe on the account. I'm sure over the course of the rest of this account, I'll get literally like 50 of them, but, uh... There's the first one. Very nice. So I used, uh, I used Blood Blitz and I brought, I think, nine prayer potions. We killed... 13 Rex, 13 Supreme, and 12 Prime. So I'm not very good at mental math, but that's... I'll just say 40 Dagonoff Kings in total. That's, that's not... I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Oh, that's... Okay, so that's totally useless. But it is technically a unique, so I'll take it. Uh, there is a warrior ring on Rex Kill 63. Man, are they actually 60? Did that say it was worth 63k? That's depressing. But anyway, hey, a unique is a unique, useless or not. What? No, f you're fucking joking. I just got back-to-back -back warrior rings. Look, 63 warrior ring, 64 warrior ring. Okay, Jagex. Okay. My god, Dagonoth Rex. I mean, this is a duplicate, so I don't actually need it, but Jesus. I don't even know how many Rex I've killed this trip, but I've gotten two Warrior Rings, and now a Berserker Ring. Ooh, an orange boater and a Zami page. Uh, let's see if the Zami page is a unique. Come on, baby. We only need one more Zami page. Yeah, let's go. That's it. We just completed our first god book. Very nice. And it's a good one as well. I mean, I guess I would probably rather get the Armadale book, but that's certainly not a bad one to finish. So let me go grab the... Wait, do I have it in my bank? Uh, I do. Yep, right here. 
okay? Slap the pages in there, and we have got ourselves an unholy book. Nice. Oh, finally! I haven't gotten one of these tasks in so long. 147 black demons, so... Let's go hit up the demonic gorillas. Just got level 8. Just calm that. Just got level 83 range here at the old demonic gorillas. Not bad. Well, unfortunately, there is the demonic gorilla task completed. I'm gonna finish the rest of the trip, because may as well. But, uh, still no Zenites. I'll check my KC in just a moment. We'll see how dry we are. 581 demonic gorillas, no Zenite. And then, yeah, yeah, get your hands off your keyboard, okay? I know. But, Mammal, you got a vis- I know. I know I got a visage, all right? Okay. This is still- Unlucky, alright? Don't at me. Well, despite not getting a Zenite, the upside to Demonic Gorillas is they drop lots of rune items, which means lots of alchemals, so... Uh, right now, the cash stack is sitting at a cool... 8.3 mil, so... We only need like 700k, we're almost done. Just got level 82 attack here at the Bloodvelds, and I'm gonna keep the recorder running because I am about to get level 83 Slayer. And there you go, there is level 83 Slayer. The uh, level up message went away, but we unlocked the ability to kill spiritual mages. Not that I need to, I've already gotten my red sock with uh, marshmallow on top. So, no need to kill him anymore, but that's neat. Yeah, I literally just said, Duranel, please give me an elk money task. And that is what you love to see, 175 Necreal. So... If I kill superiors again, I should for sure have enough money banked. I'm excited. Hey, there's a milestone. Of course, there is 90 hit points. Where else would I level hit points but by bursting? Good shit. The big 90 HP. Okay, there is the Necreal task completed. This thing's kicking my ass. <laughs> now, the question is... Did I get enough rune items to bring us up to the 9 mil mark? I hope so. No, okay. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Alright, moment of truth. We got 890k from that Necreal task. That puts the cash stack. Oh, we're good. At 9.2 mil. So now, we can finally turn our teak logs into teak planks. Before I do that, though, whilst I've been doing Slayer this episode, I managed to stock up three Dark Totems. So, let's go kill some Scotizo. Uh, okay, 450 Blood Runes is good, and of course we'll go do the Hard Clue. And on to the next Scotizo! Okay, Scotizo kill number two. <laughs> Hopefully I can actually do this hard clue. Did I just get the exact same drop as the last one? I think I did. Please don't be the same clue step. Okay, that that's better. Nothing. Nope. No pet. But I will... T 20 torstals. Holy shit. That's a lot of torstals. Nothing. And now that we have the money and the logs, it is time to start the expensive process of turning them into planks. You know, the upside is, it doesn't take very long. It is a very fast process, just an expensive one. But, of course, then the, uh, the using of the planks is the slow part. But, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, wrap it up there. Uh, had a pretty interesting episode again. We had some, uh, some new uniques at Dagonoth Kings, which is always exciting. And we made uh, lots and lots of money. Time to use it all up. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave it a like, and I will see you all soon.